Ooh, today we're making chocolate fudge crinkle biscuits. So uh, this should make about 30, 38 portions. The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 190 degrees or 170 fan assisted. What we need to do is get our dry ingredients. I have pre-weighed these just to save time in showing you, um, but we've gone through this previously on weighing and measuring. So we need to uh, add our oil, our caster sugar and our cocoa together. Just put those in and give them a good stir. And then we're going to be adding our eggs to this mixture and breaking up any lumps of sugar um, so that there's no big fat lumps of sugar in there would be good. These are going to be amazingly chocolatey. You can already see how dark this mixture is and that's all the lovely cocoa powder in there. And these are lovely, there's nothing like fresh biscuits. Um, there's just nothing like it. So, and these aren't, you know, these aren't shop bought. It does make quite a few of them. And you could freeze these. Once the mixture's made, you could freeze these, bring them out, defrost them, and then pop them, uh, pop them in the oven. I would recommend that you leave putting the icing sugar on if you're going to freeze them, and then defrost them and put that on. So what we're doing is I'm still mixing it because can you see I've still got some white lumps in there of the sugar so I'm just making sure that all those go. Might help if I add the egg actually. So again tap tap. Again, just get rid of those. So, what we're doing is mixing our eggs in next. And we want this mixture to be nice and smooth. We're going to be adding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So, we've got our flour here. We're going to add in a teaspoon, yep, teaspoon of baking powder. And again, we're leveling this. We've talked about this before. So, just using a knife. Just making sure that's a level teaspoon. We need a pinch of salt. Salt is a flavour enhancer, so what this is going to do is bring out the chocolate taste and just take the edge of the sweetness off. So just got a pinch of salt in there and we're going to give that a stir. And then we've made this lovely smooth mixture. If we were just to bung the, um, the flour in now, uh, there may be lumps in the flour that we'll struggle to get out in the mixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to sieve it. Now you need to make sure that your sieve is completely dry, otherwise your flour is going to clump in it. And what we'll do is just pop that in. Get rid of that. And again, we're just tapping the side, waiting for those lumps to come out. Just smooth it through, that's perfect. And we just get this stirred together until it forms a dough. You can see how gorgeous and chocolatey these are going to be, even, even just looking at the mixture. So we're just getting these last bits of flour incorporated in. You might want to get your hands in there to do this. Actually, I don't, it's still a bit too sticky. Um, so I'm just using the spoon to just get these last few bits mixed in. Also the less washing up you've got, the cleaner you can get the bowl. These bits all around there. Now, what we're going to be doing is dividing this mixture into individual biscuits. Okay, so obviously if you want larger biscuits, they will take longer to cook. Uh, this recipe is for 38 of them. Now, what I would recommend is that you weigh out the dough so that you get even sized biscuits. It looks nicer, but also it means that they will cook evenly if they're an even size. 
If you don't want to weigh them out, an easy way of getting them so that they are all the same size is to make them into a long sausage and then cut it in half, cut that in half again and do it that way and then roll them into the balls. This is how we're going to make sure that our, our biscuits are the right size. I've got a bowl that's the same as that one, so I'm going to zero it. Weigh the mixture. Okay, so that's 622. I might have to get my calculator out to work that out. Approximately 17 grams uh, per biscuit. So what we'll be doing now is just measuring out, I mean, we'll get an idea of roughly what 17 grams looks like after the first one. So that's 12, that's 18. So we're looking at a, a biscuit about that size. Okay, I'm going to put that on there. So I'll quickly go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what we need to do with them before we cook them. Right, so we've rolled them out like this. Okay, and we've got two trays. So that's roughly the size and the shape that you're going for. Um, we're going to do two trays. We've got our icing sugar um, just on a plate basically. And the idea is that we just roll these in icing sugar like that and pop them on a tray, okay? Rolled in icing sugar, they're on the tray. Uh, we've given them room uh, to spread out because obviously these have got baking powder in, so they, we're expecting them to rise, we're expecting them to grow, so if they're too close together, they're gonna stick together. Um, so we've given them a little bit of space to move about, um, we're gonna put them in the oven, and in the oven for about 10 minutes. So have a look through the glass door at about eight minutes and just check them. Right, so we've just taken these cookies out of the oven. Now it's important that these go on a cooling rack because the heat will make the, bod the bottoms of them soggy unless there's some air underneath for them to dry out. But look, don't they look fabulous with this crackling on the top? Um, and they are just perfect. So they've made quite little biscuits. So obviously when we weighed out uh, previously, when you come to make yours, you might want bigger biscuits. I quite like the idea of these being small, but it's completely up to you when you make them. But it is nice that they're a uniform size because they cook evenly and they look really good.